Hi guys, I couldn't help myself. I've uh, done a third version of this plane. I'm still using the 0603, the smallest brushless motor, but this time around I've rebuilt the wing completely for just this project. I've also changed the tail and got some other changes as well. I want to show you all of them, but first let us look at some flight footage. Takeoff is almost immediately and then we're just set for a real nice smooth flight. It is very stable. I don't have any controls issues like I did uh, in my previous version. And when I give it just a bit of throttle, I can easily climb. And I maintain altitude when I'm about uh, just below 50% throttle. The weird stuff that's happening now, that's just bad piloting. That is not the plane's fault. I'm very pleased with the flight characteristics and how it, how it performs overall. It's everything that I wanted it to be, so that's very, very satisfying that what I hoped it would be, that, um, that it actually is that. Yeah, giving it a bit of throttle, coming in for a nice turn so you can see the, uh, the underside of the wing and how that's, uh, how that's built. It just soars so smoothly. 37 grams, that's the total weight. So, um, low and slow is not a challenge at all. You see a nice pass here, you can see how slow that it can fly. Yeah, giving it a bit of throttle so we can get some altitude again. All right, enough flying for now. Let's um, let's have a look at some of the details. All right. When I first decided that I was going to make this third version, the first thing I had to fix was the um, the wobbliness of the tail and all the instability issues I, I had, and that was fortunately a very very quick fix to do. All I had to do was to use a 2mm by 2mm rod instead of the 1.4. And that has just meant that it's just perfectly, um, perfectly stable now. I, got, I don't have all, all the issues uh, as, I, as I did, so it's, uh, it's really nice. It weighs twice as much as the 1.4, so that's the downside, but uh, the benefit definitely outweighs the, uh, the extra weight. Now, I also had other issues uh, with my model. I learned, and that was the, the, the printed parts. I'm just going to show you here. So the 3D printed parts, I used to use the uh, lightweight PLA from Colorfab. It's still a cool material, but the issues I had was that the inside holes uh, where the carbon fiber rod goes, they weren't exactly square, they didn't match the design, and the corners were rounded. And it's a soft material, so when I inserted the rod into the holes, I would carve out the shape of the rod and then I would make these sharp corners. But that meant that I really had to be careful when I inserted the pieces onto the rod because otherwise I would cut cut the, um, the square hole at the wrong angle and then the piece would be skewed um, towards the um, the right, uh, you could say, orientation. And that meant all the pieces were just slightly uh, disaligned uh, everywhere and it just I really didn't like it. It was just really annoying to work with. So I figured, hell, I'm just going to go back to regular PLA and then I'll do my best to make uh, to make this front piece, the biggest and heaviest one, as light as possible. But it, it's quite light. Um, however, oh, as I also mentioned that I've raised the, um, the leading edge mount here with about 10 millimeters uh, because I learned looking at the original model uh, that I had to, uh, to make it uh, a bit higher than the uh, the trailing edge, so I think that's also helped it <coughs> on the flight characteristics. But I've gained weight on the carbon fiber rod. I've gained weight on the PLA, which I didn't like. So 
I um, decided I need to lose weight somewhere because I didn't want to have a, a, a heavier plane than the last time. So that's why I've decided to make a new wing. Um, and this wing weighs 10 grams. The old one, the original, weighed 17 grams. And um, the materials used is, uh, I've used is Depron, carbon fiber rod, and then a plastic bag from the grocery store. Um, because it's so light and it's very cheap, as in free, when I buy stuff. <laughs> um, the way that I've done it is I've just, uh, I, I took the old plane, uh, the old wing, put it on a piece of Depron and then just trace the, the inside of the wing to, to copy the, uh, the shape of the, uh, the wing. Then I cut out these um, Depron pieces, cut out all the holes to make it lighter, and then I built, um, I built these sections. So each section consists of uh, three ribs and then pe three pieces of carbon fiber, and then I've glued on the, um, the cover, which is the, the grocery store <laughs> plastic bag. Now, using, um, using this uh, plastic bag as cover has some, um, some challenges because clearly there's no glue on one side, as you would see in many covers. It does not shrink when heated. It just sort of turns, curls up and turns. You can't do it. Don't do it. So when I, when I apply glue to my ribs, I had to stretch and, and make sure that I could get a, a smooth, uh, dense uh, surface. It's a bit tricky, but I, I think I succeeded uh, fairly well with, with that. Then uh, to create a dihedral, um, I don't know if you can see it here, yeah, slight dihedral. I've, in between the sections, I've uh, glued in uh, Depron strips just to make sure that I could, I could glue them together with, uh, with an angle. They're not, it's not perfect, it's not a symmetrical dihedral, but it's good enough, it works. Um, so um, that was really cool. But this has introduced another issue because I quickly learned that the CG was off a lot because of the reduced weight of the wing. And I couldn't really do anything much more in, in, in the front here, clearly. <laughs> so I had to reduce weight on the tail. So um, I built this new tail. It's again still Depron. Um, just cut out pieces of it to reduce weight and then glued on the same uh, material uh, as uh, the same plastic from uh, I'm using on the wing. So. It's not the same, exact same shape as the original model, but it does the job um, and it weighs 1.5 less than the original. And that has meant that I, I'm really hitting the CG just right on the mains bar. So that's, um, that's very fortunate. You can just maybe have seen in the video that the tail is not flush with the, um, the trailing edge of the wing, because that's why I think I've bended here. It's not because everything is, is <coughs> designed wrong, it's just that it's the deep runs, I, I broke it and bent it, so that's why it's off. But it runs, it's awesome, it works. So the whole thing, all our weight, including the rubber band, is 37 grams, and um, I'm very, very pleased with this uh, development this uh, project has taken. Now, I am, um, I'm not done, I'm going to do a fourth iteration, I'm going to build um, another wing, which looks nicer, more symmetrical, and I will make it uh, also lighter. I think I can use deep bond instead of carbon fiber rods. I um, can make it stronger because the, the glue points are very small, so they easily tend to break, the, the carbon fiber breaks away from the deep bond. So if I have larger strips of deep bond, I should have larger glue um, interfaces that creates a stronger bond. So I'm gonna rebuild the wing and also we built the tail so it looks uh, looks better and has a more the same wing shape as the original um, but still and if i can make it lighter i'll attempt to do that but i don't think that's that's possible all right but um i will um i will not be cutting the deep run in hand nope this is tedious work and i'm not a fan of um doing all, <laughs> all this knife work and i also cut out these uh, holes very very uh, roughly. So uh, I'm going to be using a new tool that I have in the shop. I'll show you. That's right guys, this is a laser cutter. This is the K40 CO2 40 watt laser. This bad boy can cut all kinds of things. Balsa, different kinds of woods, acrylic, 
different plastics, but definitely also deep run. I know because I've tried it. I just had it aligned, just had it set up, but I haven't done any serious work on it yet. And this is this is uh, something that I've really been wanting to do for a long time. And the first big thing that I will use this for is to cut rips for my next wing. I'll also cut parts, deep run parts for the for the for the wing as uh, sorry the tail as well. So. If you guys want to watch me use this machine and use the parts that come out of it, build a wing, well, stay tuned because this is what I'm going to, I'm going to do in my uh, next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do so, please like and subscribe. Cheers!